Welcome back. My name is Jeremy Richards, an attorney with the Law Office of, of Richards and Drusick, where we only practice U.S. immigration law. In this video today, I will be discussing why the TN visa is the optimal choice for Canadians who want to live and work in the United States. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up, like our channel, uh, and follow us for more content about U.S. immigration law. Also, in the comments below, you'll find a lot of helpful information and links about U.S. immigration law and additional information about the question that I'll be discussing in this video today. There are five reasons why we would consider the TNB so the optimal choice for Canadians who want to work and live in the United States. Number one, the simplified application process. If you're a Canadian, you can apply for a TNB at any time. There is no annual limit on TNB visas, and there is no lottery to get a TNB set. You would simply present the documents for admission and TN status at a CBP port of entry or pre-flight inspection point and you would get your TN visa immediately on the spot. Number two, very quick processing times. As I mentioned, once you have your documents in order, you can simply present your documents at a land port or pre-flight inspection at an airport. The officer will review your documents. After they review your documents, typically within 30 minutes to an hour, they've made a decision and they've already issued your TN status and you're on your way to work and live in the United States. Third, the TN visa is renewable indefinitely. That means you can get a TN visa issued for a time frame of one day to three years per entry to the United States with unlimited extensions. There is no limit. It is not capped like an H-1B visa where you can only get an H-1B for a maximum of six years with limited ex exceptions or the L-1 that maxes at five or seven years depending on your status. The TN visa does not have a limit. You can extend that every three years indefinitely. Number four, the TN visa does not have a labor certification or formal sponsorship requirement similar to the H-1B. So the H-1B, you have to file what is called a labor condition application with the U.S. Department of Labor. You have to verify that you are being paid what is considered a prevailing wage or a minimum wage for that position in the United States. There is no such process for a TN visa. A TN visa, the person simply must be paid what would be considered fair wage for that position in the United States. There is no filing with the Department of Labor and no formal sponsorship submission that has to be done in order to obtain a TN visa. Number five, transition to permanent residence. There are many out there that believe that you can't go from a TN visa to a green card. However, this process, the same process of going from an H-1B visa to a green card is the process that you go from a TN visa to a green card. The most common method to go from a TN visa to a green card is through PERM. In addition, if you get married to a U.S. citizen or a U.S. permanent resident, you can also transition from a TN visa to a green card. So despite many of the naysayers out there, you can go from a TN visa to a green card as simply as you can go from an H-1B visa to a green card, as long as you understand the process and it is done properly. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about U.S. immigration law, give us a call, visit our website, shoot us an email, let us know if you have any questions that we can answer for you. Thank you for watching and have a great day.